Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to a very special episode of It's Getting Chilly. Uh, today we have our birthday boy, Michael, co-host and co-founder of the channel. Um, he's going to introduce us to what we're doing this evening. Um, needless to say, it's got to be a messy one. Um, so things are getting a little bit hot, they're getting a little bit spicy, and it's getting a little bit chilly. Over to Michael. How you doing, guys? Mm. So you've seen some of the videos that have gone up. Uh, did some Carolina Reaper pods the other day. I'll introduce you to those again. So we thought we'd uh, we'd make a little chili this evening and uh, break open a couple of these, put them in our chili, uh, cook it up nice. Mm. So we've got some garlic, chili powder, a bit of cumin, onion. Passata, chopped tomatoes, as you would any other chilli. Uh, got some nice meat here. And then uh, we'll cook our chilli up nicely. That should apply a bit of heat for the early doors. We've got the box in this evening. Already bought, paid for, uh, ready to be watched. So chilli go down nice with that. And then, just to add a little bit of interest to it, you would have seen earlier, uh, young Paige taking on the, uh, the Doomsday. This chilli extract is... Uh, it's no joke, made page quite ill afterwards, made as I understand it. Quite right, real afterwards, yes. So we thought we'd go <laughs> from bottom to top with some of the sauces that we've got. So we'll start just a psycho curry. From torchbearer sauces. And we will work our way up to the doomsday, which is making me quite nervous, as you would have seen with the uh with the chili pods, the hiccups uh catch on quite quick for me. So we've got some pork belly, uh, you would have seen in previous videos, a bit of my favourite when it comes to these chilli sauces. Um, become, so a, go, guys. become a weekly staple for both of us I think with yeah. a pork belly. Um, so we're going to try some of these sauces, we've got 12 in total, we'll introduce them a little later. Um, we're going to try each of those sauces on a bit of pork belly right up to the, the drip of the doomsday and we'll record it all for your pleasure. Uh, other than that, I think we're going to get cooking, um, so we'll catch up with you a bit in this video when we come back and we uh, we show you the end result. Yeah, we'll show you the addition of the pods to the chilli, so that you can't accuse of us cheating. Um, and then we'll show you the end result afterwards, and you can watch us eat it and enjoy every second of our torment, as I'm sure you all will. Uh, so guys, for now, it's Owen, Michael, it's getting chilly. So, as promised. Chili's cooking. Right. Chili on a go here. Oh, it's looking amazing. Lovely jubbly. And then over here is two chopped Carolina Reaper peppers. So, Owen, you want to pop them in? Say a very special thank you very much to Louise Terry and Nicola Humphreys for these pods. Um, we hope these bring as much entertainment to you as you were hoping for. Uh, we've chopped two of these bad boys up for our chilli. And there you go. And they're in. We'll get this cooked up. And we we'll see you again when we start eating it. See you soon, guys. Okay, we're on. Welcome back, guys, uh, to tonight's very special birthday episode of Is Getting Chilli. Um, you've seen obviously us preparing our dinner. Uh, we now have it in front of us and we're ready to proceed. Uh, now right up until a few minutes ago, I thought this was a good idea. Although two Carolina Reaper pods in hindsight probably isn't the smartest of ideas. Uh, no point in lying to you. We've both got some milk as this could be Essentially very explosive. And quite painful. We'll do our best without it. But, uh, well this is a uh, Carolina Reaper chilli, guys. You ready? Shall we? Let's go. Well, it's a really nice chilli. Fantastic chili. Mm. 
Of course, that really warm chilli. <laughs> Starting to work a little bit. <laughs> so, you can't take much away and can't taste much in a way of difference between any normal chilli. Although, the instant burn around your mouth, certainly, as you swallow it straight down to your belly, like, it's a very warming heat. It's not straight away a kick in the face. No. And it makes a whole lot of difference if you're eating it with good food. You saw what Harry Page did yesterday. Uh, that's today's bravery of the young. Um, and they handled that beautifully. Uh, we prefer the old school approach of a nice bit of dinner with some extra heat. And boy, does it add that. It kind of builds on you a little bit, though, doesn't it? It's certainly a build up. Absolutely lovely way to eat a chilli though. So from what I saw of those dry pods that were eaten, especially Harry, it looked painful straight the second it touched him. At least doing it this way, you get to enjoy and experience a little bit of heat. Oh yes. <clears throat> it's warm. Uh, it starts to hit the back of your throat. And very slowly, it starts to build up. And he's certainly a builder. Um, but an absolutely phenomenal plate of chilli. You're welcome. Um, as has always been the case whenever we've done chilli. Um, in fact, I think the only person I've ever had who does a better chilli than Michael is me. Uh, so, <laughs> you know. <laughs> now, now. But Ooh. it's always nice to come round to a friend's house, have a bit of dinner. Um, especially when you're co-founders of a channel oh. every dinner becomes a new experience and more exciting um, so yeah I'm going to carry on digging into this it's absolutely lovely so this was leaking a little bit it's a really good test to be honest later on we plan on dropping some of that 1.6 million Scoville resin onto a piece of pork belly which well you didn't see in the video but Paige afterwards suffered quite a lot um, and in fairness to her she took it really well but, uh, dropping that on a piece of pork belly and eating it especially eating this now seems like it's going to be a bit of a challenge this is probably going to blow us away that pork belly more than this chilli will uh, that's, the, that's going to be the big finale of the evening uh, some pork belly with our different types of sauce, uh, building up a heat level each one to that final explosive hit. Um, and yeah, looking forward to it. How are you doing there, Michael? It's warming my insides, is what it's doing. Oh. I will say, if it's Carolina Reaper I'm tasting, it has got a very nice flavour. And there's something a little different that I could taste within this chilli. And the only thing that's been added that doesn't normally get added is the Carolina Reapers. And they do say that they're very sweet. <clears throat> and if that's what I'm tasting, then yeah, I can concur, it's very sweet. It's also very hot. I mean, the build-up is just... Every bite comes on a little bit more. You get the horrible feeling like it leads you into a false sense of security because I quite happily keep eating this chilli and although it burns it's not overwhelming although you get the feeling after you've finished eating this is going to really start to creep up and hurt. What we're going to do is we'll finish our chilli and then we're just going to sit and ponder our decisions for five minutes and let see how far this burn goes and then uh, we'll carry on with our evening until we get to our pork belly it's certainly nice to you though and I thoroughly intend on finishing it alright we'll take a little pause here let's finish the plates we'll start this video straight back up again as soon as we finish the plates we get to see a little bit of the after burn afterwards um, a little bit of the suffering once the food's gone once it's just us and the heat left, we'll let you know. Cheers, guys.
Hi right, guys, welcome back. Um, I finished my plate. Michael's on the round his last mouthful. Um, <coughs> as you can see, it's uh, hiccups have kicked in. <coughs> Certainly a new type of bird, this one. It's not unpleasant though. Like, I'm not feeling a pain in the pit of my stomach. I'm just feeling a burn in my mouth. It still hasn't quite reached its peak. But, um, yeah, it does help immensely when you're eating it with a, with a dish. And that was the point of this channel, uh, to show the benefits of chilies and chilli sauces with good food. Uh, whether that be a chilli, a bit of <coughs> pork, a casserole. I intend on making a lot of different home cooked meals and using a lot of different types of chili and chili pods and extracts and sauces um, to make them more oh. exciting for you guys and hot for myself and exciting. I look forward to these. Oh, um, so it's certainly very hot. Uh, chili down, guys. Lovely plate of food, but it doesn't end. Once you finish eating, oh, it starts to heat up. My t-shirt is sticking to me. The sweat is pouring down my forehead. So my, uh, oh. <coughs> so my lips are burning. Inside of my mouth, not so bad. A little bit hot. All over, I've started to sweat. My body temperature is heated up by about 200 degrees by the feel of it. Yeah. I, uh... Oh, all the way from my throat to my belly's warm. It's not unbearable, so eating a chilli pod straight off. Straight all in one, that heat kicked in really quick. And was completely and utterly unpleasant. There was nothing pleasant about that at all. <laughs> it was. It, Both during It was pleasant. Day. It was. It was It was a different kind of burn, but it, it was okay. It it come up and down really quickly. I get the feeling like this might, this might burn for a little while. Oh no, not that chilli pod. I was on about when I did the dry scorpion. Oh no, that, that wasn't pleasant. That didn't look pleasant, to be fair. Those chilies we did uh, a few days ago were actually very nice, um, very pleasant tasting. Um, mine had a lovely build, but I mean, this. <clears throat> <laughs> so this is building. I've never seen Iron Media Cups. Very few chilies. I've watched him eat all manner of chilli sauces, all manner of, of chilies now, and never seen him in the cups, which is quite fun. Nice. Um, this is one of the few chilies that I've eaten where I haven't had the hiccups. I find that the ghost pepper stuff really, sauce, anything like that, it gives me the hiccups straight away. But this Carolina Reaper is actually, actually quite nice. I've enjoyed it. I've got a feeling the Carolina Reaper is what's going to give me the hiccups. Um, I've got hiccups, burps, perps. <laughs> um, Are you okay? Every hiccup takes its soul as well. It's, yeah, it's well, like it all comes back <sighs> with a vengeance. Actually, I had the milk to one side. Same as it was before, I've not tried it yet. I had a tiny bit after eating um, to wet my lips more than anything because um, the lips do sting more than anything else. And you know what? I've watched quite a few chili heads on... I've, wa I've watched quite a few chili heads on YouTube, on the internet now. A lot of them say about the water uh, and the burn. Uh, a gentleman called Johnny Scoville that I watch a lot of. He drinks, out, water. The heat. he drinks a lot of water. Loves it loves to burn and I actually I kind of quite agree with him as much as it hurts when it starts to go away you do feel a sense of sadness yes um, there is sadness uh, for me it's a sadness a feeling of elation and on this particular evening nerves and knowing what we've got to do next <laughs> because this hasn't yet peaked and that uh, that extracts. No, it's not going, folks. It's really not going. Do you know what? I've enjoyed that chili. Oh yeah, it was lovely. Carolina Reaper and all. Um, I get the feeling like the burn's going to come back at some point. Um, <laughs> or sit with him in his case. Once we start to get a bit of uh, reverb, oh, if we suffer. Then um, I'll jump straight back on video. We give you a little bit more uh, in the way of suffering. Although I get the feeling we're going to have to let this digest a little bit before we start to feel the full effects. What do you reckon? 
yeah, without a doubt. Um, it's starting to die down a little bit now, the heat. Um, but, yeah, now it's make or break time. Um, but it's lovely, it's warm. Um, Not what I was expecting, actually. No, after was, knowing what happened with your dry pods. No, I was expecting my head to be blown off. But instead I've got um, just a nice, albeit hot, sensation. Um, but yeah, now it's starting to ease off a little bit. I feel uh, we're going to chill out. We're going to enjoy a bit of boxing. Yeah, um, boxing next. And we'll be back with you all very soon. Well, if uh, we don't jump back on for a little bit, little bit more suffering from this chilli, we'll be back on with a pot belly later, um, which will give you an entertaining feature. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <Still ticking. laughs> yeah. Right, are you ready? Box, I am ready. Boxing. Boxing. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is our second challenge of the evening. Uh, I think it's now officially God Midnight. Uh, we've well and truly recovered from our chilli con carne from earlier. That was both delicious and hot. And now we have some beautifully cooked belly pork. 24 pieces, 12 sauces, one bit followed by a dip of sauce. Starting from a curry, working out the scale to 70% uh, psycho juice. Ending with the culmination of a shot of Grim Reaper 1.6 million Scoville dropper. This is going to be painful, unpleasant, and probably quite frankly humiliating for everybody involved. But it's going to be fun. So without further ado, here's Michael uh, to introduce our belly pork and our first uh, sauce. Okay. So, lovely torchbearer psycho curry. I've not tried this sauce yet. Um, found out that I had it when I was around there today. Uh, so I thought we'd bring it with us. Have a little go on some pork belly, see what happens. Round one. Oh, goodness. Make a mess. <laughs> Very strange flavour. It's really odd. It's like a, it's like a spicy version of a chip shop curry sauce. Yeah. Very tangy. So it's made with garlic, canola oil, uh, distilled wine, uh, vinegar, lime juice, water, uh, habanero pepper, pepper allegedly. But I can't really taste. Yeah, if you like habanero. If you like chip shop curry sauces, mm, just with a little bit of a tang, then I suppose that'd be for you. What I am tasting is the coriander, turmeric, and the mustard powder. They're the tastes that I'm definitely getting from that. It's not brilliant. It's a lovely sauce. Thank you, Anthony and Sarah, for buying these for us. Um, it's by no means a nasty sauce. I think it's going to be lovely as a table sauce, a dipping sauce to go well with some chips. Um, Moving on, next up is from Bravado Spice Company, Jalapeno and Green Apple Hot Sauce. Um, give this a go. Uh, Mike had a spoon of this at my house earlier. I, however, didn't. I'll save this for now. Oh, very nice. You'll enjoy this. So, uh, let's do it and then we'll uh, have a list of the ingredients. Sorry guys, but this comes out extremely thick and fast. <laughs> okay. Mm. Really a very nice sauce. Definitely one of my favourite sauces today. Not very spicy at all. Um, mm. But maybe with jalapenos, uh, green apples, uh, an old English favourite actually, the Granny Smith. Um, really very tasty sauce, even for non chilli heads, really not very spicy. You just get the, the, just the tang of the jalapeno. Um, that's a 10 out of 10 flavour for me. So thank you very much, uh, Tell. 
Uh, next up on our list of sources, we've got Michael. Uh, it's a bullseye. So my lovely wife and children this morning um, bought me some hot sauces for my birthday. Uh, bought it from Bullseye. Uh, we've got the Louisiana Chipotle with Cajun Spices. Uh, it's one of three that we've got in amongst this list um, that we'll be introducing at some point. Tried a little bit this morning. A uh, little bit of a punch, but more reminiscent of fajitas. That is also very lovely. Mm. Quite nice. I think probably go really well with chicken. Like I said, the fajitas are probably where that sauce is going to take me. Definitely fajita night coming up, I think, at some point. Yeah, uh, that's so lovely. Proof that where there's smoke, there's fire. And smoky hot sauce decked out in Cajun spices will amp up any meal. Um, it's not too hot, but it certainly adds a bit of flavour. Um, tomato puree, spirit vinegar, water sugar. Uh, it's got 1.9% chipotle chilli in this. Um, and it's maybe a garlic, your lemon juices, cayenne pepper, and a bell pepper, um, which is certainly knows the flavour. Lovely sauce. Good for any collection. Um, and if the rest of the bullseyes are like that, I might start adding some bullseye like my collection of sauces. I think it is worth mentioning at this point, guys, that we are at the nicer end of the chilli scale, should we say. Uh, this side's certainly going to be a lot more polite, uh, lighter and flavourful, <laughs> maybe. Uh, once we hit past the plate, you're going to start to see a bit of change in difference in terms of strength. And our faces and our reactions. <laughs> and probably the hiccups, I would imagine. So next up, uh, again from Bravado Spice Company. We have pineapple and habanero. Um, I've had a sauce like this before uh, from a different company. Um, so I'm actually looking forward to this one very much. Um, this looks very runny. You first, my friend. It's very runny, be careful. Straight off the bat, intensely sweet. Mm. It's not as pineapple as I was hoping, though. No? no. It's very sweet, but it's not, you don't get a mass of pineapple come through. Get a very slight uh, habanero kick after swallowing. Um, yeah, very nice. I think it's I prefer the, the previous version that you had pineapple um, wise. As do I, as do I. However, um, certainly will go well on a pizza I can imagine something like this uh, or if you're Harry you like it in a pot noodle you get a little <laughs> bit of the kick afterwards don't you? Uh, pineapple, white wine, vinegar, yellow bell pepper habanero doesn't say how much garlic and sea salt very nice Okay. so the last one on my end of the table ah, second of the bullseye so after I tried these this morning uh, in bed, I might like to add. I had some leftover Chinese from the night before. This one was quite nice, so I spread some of it over uh, my leftover chow mein. Beautiful and chow mein. Uh, even the wife uh, chose to try some, and she's definitely not a chili head. Um, but even she quite enjoyed it. Uh, Owen's not had the opportunity to try this yet, but I think you'll find that you like this quite a lot. Very excited. Very exciting. Um, like I say, as I point out, these bullseye sauces seem to have the perfect consistency coming out of the bottle. Not too fast, not too slow. Nice and reasonably thick. Mm. You get the ball and the whiskey come through straight oh, away. Oh yeah, lovely. It's got just the just the right amount of kick to it as well. Kentucky Habanero with whiskey, hot sauce. I as soon as you put it in your mouth, 
taste of whiskey. I could have that on just about anything. I think. Which uh, is unusual uh, for a chilli sauce, but my, that's, that's amazing. That's, uh, I really like that sauce. I think I'd have that on just about anything. That's going to be a regular table sauce for me. Oh yeah, without a doubt. For those in search of firepower, uh, fruity habanero chilli cooked up with a dash of whiskey packs the heat. It's not hot. It's not a hot sauce by any stretch. Um, I mean, to, to someone who's not a chilli head, this might cause a slight tingle. But, wow, the whiskey's amazing. Very nice. 2.8% uh, habanero chilli in that, and a good 6% whiskey. Mm. Um, yes. Delicious sauce, mm. highly recommend. We'd have that a little more often. <clears throat> now we're moving to the more sinister phase of our table. Second half of the plate, did you want to introduce? So we start the second half of our plate with uh, Bravado Spice Company's Crimson Hot Sauce. Again, I'm shaking the bottle as I can see just for tipping it, it's extremely runny. Uh, Crimson Hot Sauce, we've got a blend of red jalapeno and arbol chilies. Uh, sauce of bursting with flavour from tacos to noodles, Crimson Hot Sauce is a new standard. Uh, white vinegar, red jalapenos, arbol chilies, garlic, sea salt and sugar. Should be nice, not sure this nice. yet. Uh, I'll give you the pleasure sir. We've, uh, we've entered the second phase of this now. There we have. We've started to get to the more sinister end of the scale in terms of chilli. Be rather careful with this. It's not as runny as it looks, but... Just the colour. You know you've started to enter into the chilli phase when you, you start yeah. seeing the colours change rather dramatically. Thumbs up. You get the vinegar straight through, don't yeah, you? Yeah, it's an old mag here, vinegar. You know, um, apart from the spice, which really isn't a lot, it gives you that uh, same sort of feeling I used to get when I went to the seaside with my grandparents and you got the, the ketchup off the sea from. Yes, yes. And that really vinegary. Oh, that's actually quite nice. It's not <laughs> spicy though, is it? Um, no, I was expecting something a little hotter. Um, having had that, I'd probably rank that slightly below in between those two um, that is delicious sauce uh, like his whiskey sauce that's probably going to become my sort of new stand of table sauces that's what flavour takes me back to when I was a kid oh yeah without doubt very smoky it's lovely uh, another another 10 out of 10 for me moving on oh ok so <laughs> I had uh, the pleasure of trying this earlier when it got delivered I again haven't. Ghost pepper for some reason seems to give me the hiccups and this sauce was no exception. It is incredibly runny. Um, but we're looking at ghost pepper and blueberry. You really should get a hint of blueberry straight through. Um, hopefully not the hiccups again. It is really very runny though. That's extremely runny. Wow. Let's wipe that up. Straight away, I'm tasting blueberries. Yeah. Um, again, I'm tasting my childhood. It's uh, not. I'm not sure if it's for me that one. You you really get the sweetness of the blueberry, but the the spice and the blueberry for me don't really complement each other. They're sort of one after the other. Um, I honestly, strange. I I I thought this would be hotter than it is. Uh, Dive into the deep end with fiery ghost peppers, cracked black pepper and delicious it blueberries. Ghost pepper. It's time to step up your hot sauce game. Blueberry, white wine vinegar, ghost pepper, sea salt and black pepper. Uh, very simple, Bravado Spice Company. Um, don't mess about with loads of ingredients, which is probably why their sauces are rather standard, quite runny. They just throw the ingredients in they want and they make a sauce. And uh, their sauces are usually rather delicious, so... Starting to warm up a little now. Credit to Bravado Spice Company. Uh, carry on doing what you guys are doing. Uh, yeah, another great tasting sauce. <coughs> uh, 
uh, this next one's been a bit of a staple in my life for a yeah, while now. We're no strangers to this next sauce. There is really not a lot left of this <laughs> sauce. Uh, you'd have heard in other videos. I've been having the uh, black garlic Carolina Reaper on cheese and beans on toast at times. It is Sounds delicious. An extremely tasty sauce. It does have a punch. Uh, and it, it does kick you in the back of the throat a little bit. Yeah, so this sauce is where we're going to start ramping up to the business end now. Um, these are starting to become hotter. Uh, it still comes out nice and fast though, doesn't it? Very runny. <laughs> yeah. Still one of my favourites. Mm. That's a much more meaningful sauce though. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're hitting the business end now. The world's it's hottest pepper. It's right in the mouth that. Savoury black garlic and a hint of sweet maple. Chicken toast. You can definitely taste the maple syrup in that. Oh yeah, I've enjoyed this sauce for a while now. This hot sauce will shake you to your core. Brace yourself. They're never quite as extreme as they make them sound. Um, you'd be forgiven for reading that and thinking, oh, it's it's really not that bad. It's hot. It's in your mouth. It is right in the mouth, isn't it? And I think that's less of the Carolina Reaper and more of the Red Serrano. Um, there's so little Carolina Reaper in this sauce. Um, but that is an absolutely delicious sauce. And I would recommend any chilli head or non chilli head starting out to give that a go. Try some cheese and beans. Try the pot noodle. It makes anything taste delicious. Very good. Continuing on. Ah, now, the third and final sauce that my wife and children bought me. This is Bullseye's uh, take on the black garlic Carolina Reaper. Um, again, tried this this morning. Similar sort of kick uh, to the previous one. Uh, probably a little less runny. And so we may be able to pour this on without spilling it. That's lovely consistency. Oh, it got a little bit carried away then. <laughs> That's quite a lot. There's no such thing as quite a lot when it comes to hot sauce, Michael. That's oh. quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Very nice. Mm. Oh. I'll be adding some uh, bullseye sauces to my list, guys, because uh, these look like the way to go. And there's hot, then there's the world's hottest chilli, then there's the garlic for that full on flavourful heat you crave. That's a good heat. Yeah, it's not an overbearing heat. Oh. Um, there's nothing like, for example, the chilli con carne we had earlier. Um, it sits in the mouth, it tastes good. You start to feel the culmination of these sauces, I don't you? You do, yeah. It's 6% Carolina Reaper chilli. Um, 3.6% garlic. It's also got bird's eye chilli in it too. And ginger. I knew I could taste something. Um, yeah, a lovely sauce. I think I'm going to uh, be giving these uh, bullseye sauces a shot at some point. So, your your last bravado sauce, Owen. Yep, the final bravado sauce. Um, from, again, from Bravado Spice Company, the Crimson Special Reserve. Um, and what makes this different from the Crimson Hot Sauce is the inclusion of scorpion peppers. And scorpion peppers are no mean feet. So, uh, my bottle opening skills are horrible so I'm going to hand it over to Michael who probably knows how to open a bottle much better than me because uh, it's good this actually is, open no this yeah. is new for both of us this one um, so this one's completely natural completely new straight from the bottle first time round <coughs> there, there you go and 
all together that's runny sauce I think no no it's still very runny another still bravado consistency another sorry about that that's all right okay here we go out of one out of two out of go So you've got an altogether different uh <laughs> <clears throat> we're now we're getting serious guys. Oh. So oh. that's a little bit hard. That's a very flat heat again. Oh. Not your favourite type of heat that is it? No, it's a flat heat. Um I think reading there's no extract in this. It is Bravado sources. But um I'm starting to think Scorpion is just a very dry, flat heat. Oh. Uh, fiery garlic blend of Scorpion and Arbol chilies. This is the ultra hot sauce you've been waiting for. Go big or go home. Again, it's, it's really not as bad as it makes it sound on the label. It's not. It is. Um, no, that's not for me. It's got an okay taste. Um, it's certainly a uh, sauce you add to something. Uh, not something you have on the table, which I don't really have anything up until this point as a table sauce. Um, however, that's bloody good. Um, okay, so I'm not comfortable now. Do one more, then we have a break. Oh, another psycho juice. So, anybody from the last video, not the last video. My last video where we did the chicken challenge. We did the extreme ghost pepper version of this. Which is 20 times hotter than what we're about to try now. That extreme ghost pepper is That really did ridiculous. a number on me. That wasn't a comfortable experience. But this again, 70% Nagu Jalokia. Um, some water onion, cane vinegar, garlic, salt, lemon juice. Okay. I um I had this sauce bought for me for Christmas, and this came again today, a bigger bottle than I got at Christmas. Um, I'm going to put it to Michael and argue with him that uh, this is not as going to be as hot as the Crimson Special Reserve. I think that's the hottest of the these sauces. But everyone has different taste buds, everyone has different heat levels. It's the ghost pepper. Uh, it's like what Michael found ridiculously hot then, I'm I'm fine with. Yeah, that uh, wasn't. It's not. It's not too much the heat yet. It's the type of spices. When we get to our final change later, and I'm screaming in pain like a baby, and he's like, "Yeah, it was." Everyone's got different heat levels and heat tolerances for different chilies. Oh, okay. <sighs> the ghost pepper. Three, two, one. I much prefer the flavour of this one to the special reserve. Mm. It tastes like a nicer version of the extreme goat pepper. Actually, that is quite nice. And you can tell it's quite spicy, but it's quite nice. I'm going just quickly. I've still got this on the table. You can tell there's a big hit of extract in that compared to that. That's an unpleasant taste. Whereas you can taste the sauce in that. Oh. And I I don't think that's as hot as that special reserve. I think the special reserve's hotter. But again, they each their own. Uh, this one tends to sit with you a little bit longer. Well it does. This is in the mouth more than the throat. It's the ghost pepper it sits. Yeah. So guys, we've got um, we've got one more sauce to do, um, and I I use the term sauce very loosely. This is this a is sauce. just a pure dropper of extract. Um, it's going to be hot, it's going to be harrowing, and it could probably leave us both rather dishevelled. So what we're going to do is we're going to come on camera for a couple of minutes, um, just let the burn from these sauces hit home and have their effect, 
uh, properly prepare ourselves for what we're about to do because this is going to be by far um, the hottest uh, oh. sauce type object I'm going to have put on anything. Um, so uh, oh, we'll see you face. guys. We'll see you guys shortly. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Keep watching. So guys, uh, this is the culmination of our evening. It's been a wonderful evening. Uh, I think it's been a fantastic birthday for you. I'm sure you've not been disappointed. No, wonderful Carolina chili. Um, uh, that was hot, but surprisingly a lot nicer on the, the body than I thought it was going to be. Uh, still got a little bit of that, that left for tomorrow, so that'd be a nice lunch. This is what our channel's all about, guys. This is, is it's evenings like this that make it all worthwhile. Um, so, with no further ado, we've got one more bit of belly pork left oh, and yeah. one more thing to go with, do it with. 11 sauces in, one extract left to go. This, guys, is Doomsday 1.6 million Scoville heat unit chili extract. Um, the ingredients are literally chili extract of 1.6 million Scoville units. Uh, it says the screams heralded the end of the world as we knew it. Oh dear. Now, am I going to stick some of this on my tongue? No. There's a million YouTube out there, channels out there with people doing that. Watch them. Honestly, uh, for me, this is not about stupidity. This is just about having some fun and enjoying what we enjoy. Um, however, we are crazy. <laughs> it does sound the bottom a one drop at a time. So, and I think anyone that starts a channel involving extreme spice has got to have something not quite wired correctly. Um, so, on that note, we're going to add one drop of this very tar, syrupy looking wow. lava. It is quite literally lava onto a piece of belly pork and we're then going to eat it um, I don't don't try this at home guys this is definitely not recommended um, for anybody so it just goes on there oh, oh look at that oh look there it is the drop is on the belly pork guys um, Oh man. <coughs> Guys, it's very nearly 1am. It's been a phenomenal day and a phenomenal evening. Oh dear. Um, Why? And Why because of this belly pork challenge, Michael's lovely wife Louise volunteered to come over and. I'm joking. <laughs> no, you're not feeling that. Okay. She's not going to do this for us. She's going to make us do this ourselves. I'm not sure I want to do this. Um, okay. So 1.6 million. Scaville resin. Uh, I'll be drinking some milk tonight before I go to sleep, I think. One drop at a time, Rose? And one drop's what we've got, and one drop's what we're having for now. Uh, we'll feature more of this, this stuff as we go through the channel, uh, increasing our tolerance and the amount of drops we do. Um, but for now, it's been a great evening. It's been a great day. A very special happy birthday to Michael. Why do I do this to myself? Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, it's getting chilly. Oh dear. Have a tree, but <laughs> <laughs> there's no taste, there's no taste, there's no smell. And for everything I've read, this is a creeper. There is heat, oh, and this is certainly starting to creep. Okay, so we're gonna go for a solid three to four minutes here, guys, oh. and see how much of this bone we can tolerate. Uh, enjoy. I know we certainly will. 
Oh, hey, Philly, mate. Talk about what's, what's going through your what's going through your head at this moment in time. Um, right now, oh. Yeah, this is it's, it's not very tasty, I can tell you that. Uh, I didn't taste anything. It didn't have not have a flavour in the slightest, but everywhere I've read. Says that, oh my word. Mm. Oh. Um, so I suppose this terrible YouTube footage, we're not speaking, but... <clears throat> this is a different feeling altogether, this. Oh. It's hot in the mouth. It's hot in the throat. Oh. Spot in my mouth, my throat. I can feel it in my ears. And it's still creeping up there. Oh. Um, this is a slow build. And bear in mind, it's only 1.6 million. Um, these these extracts go up to 9 million uh, for your standard table sauce. And if you want to buy in this pure crystallised format, 16 million. So we're at the lower end of our extract eating status and it's uh, a long way off before we hit those peaks um, oh. this is this is hot this is really really quite painful <laughs> um, <laughs> there's, no, there's no two ways about that is there oh, mate. Um, yeah so pork belly goes in Chew, beautiful flavour of pork. Yeah, a little bit of warmth come through. Uh, yeah, a tiny little bit. And then and you swallow. As soon as you swallow, after you've chewed that particular <sighs> bit of pork belly for about five minutes, because no, no other sauce that we did required that much chewing for the pork belly. Oh, <laughs> um, it's just, it just builds. It just, it just builds, and it's still building. That's interesting. It's uh oh. Okay. Oh, hey. That's hot. Oh hit my white. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh well good for you, son. Happy birthday. Oh. oh yeah, it starts to fade quite quickly. So it's hurting, it's hot. But it has, it's, it's reached its peak. Um, so unlike the chili pods, uh, they're not still climbing up. It seems to reach its peak fairly quickly and then drop down again. Um, certainly got to be a fair five to six minutes before we're completely... In for a penny, in for a pound. Three. Um, I'm not going to turn around and say it's nice because there's no flavour. Um, there is no flavour. Did we... We have done this strictly to see how far our heat tolerance has gone <coughs> over the three weeks we've mm. been doing this. Have a mouthful of that. And... <coughs> <coughs> oh. Cheers. And our tolerance has built somewhat <coughs> immensely. Um, what are you laughing? Mm. Oh. Three weeks ago, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have <sighs> even looked at that. I wouldn't advise, I wouldn't advise that dripping out on your tongue. Oh no, no. But uh, <coughs> certainly, if you want to drip that in some food and you like chili, if you like spice, that's no hotter than in food. That'll be no hotter than the extreme ghost pepper that we had the other day. I start slowly. Oh. One drop, two drops, three drops. See how far you can go. See how far you can take it. Um, it peaks on you a fair bit. Terry, thank you very much for this purchase. Um, because I certainly wouldn't have thought to buy this just yet for the channel. Um, uh, but it's very interesting to see just how far our tolerance has gone in this time. Um, oh, I think because it's it's yeah, we've built up to this. No, I'm I'm good. So guys, um, I think this was our evening. This was our night. Um, That's a nice, e nice evening of chili. I enjoyed my birthday. We've Thanks everybody for watching. Some wonderful meals, some good food, and some, some blinding sauces. 
and a true test of tolerance at this point. Oh. Uh, so, guys, from me and Michael, thank you very much for watching. Um, we hope you have a nice day. Uh, we certainly will. Uh, by the time this video is up, we're going to be somewhat delicate. <laughs> so, yeah, take care, guys. Um, from all of us here, it's getting chilly. Thank you very much. Thank you.